Hey everybody, it's me, Jaime, the shut-in cartoonist. It's vlog 170. 170. And we're vlogcasting, of course, from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters located on that island, which is just off the coast of Oakland, California. Mm. On my second cup of coffee, and yes, I am a, a pizzazzy kind of guy. It's a, it's a Mickey Mouse cup. Um, never still don't understand. Well, a lot of people have a a thing against Disney, Walt Disney, something about Nazis or something, I don't know. And, um, I just like old Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I like the old cartoons from, you know, when he began till about the 1950s. They're just awesome. But anyway, I just like the artwork. Ah, French roast, organic French roast for those playing at home. Oh, it's wonderful. It's second cup, excuse me. Uh, today I've been waiting to talk about this one for a while. I got a few books on the back burner. Um, cause I'm trying to space things out and I'm not doing a very good job lately. It's been pretty, uh, cartooning heavy, comics heavy, but that's okay. Cause it's what I do. And today I've, I'm very pleased to talk about Mary Fleener's Billy the Bee. Mary is a friend of mine, awesome cartoonist. I've been looking at, at Mary's work for many, many years, you know, for well over 30, closer to 40 years. And considering Mary's only 28 years old. You know, I'm not very good at math, but anyway, this book, Billy the Bee, is just incredible. Um, Mary and I ran into each other after many years of not seeing one another. We used to run into each other, I think, at the San Diego Comic Con a lot. And um, we ran into each other last year, the end of last year, at um, CXC, which is, I believe, God, I'm bad at remembering acronyms, uh, Cartooning Crossroads Columbus, maybe? But anyway, it was in Columbus, Ohio, and... Um, she was there, and I was there, of course, had a table. Here's some of her artwork. Just beautiful work. I mean, Mary's top-notch anyway. You know, I, I expect nothing less. Um, it's just great work. And I notice we both color in stuff the same, where we have similar, uh, not drawing styles, but similar techniques, we'll say. And uh, her writing, too. The story is great. Billy the Bee, of course, is about a bee obviously, and uh, from a hive. Oh, and here's some of Billy's work, or Billy, some of Mary's work. This is also the style. This is what I remember seeing her originally, is doing a lot of this really kind of almost uh, Picasso-esque um, um, stuff. But the story, anyway, let me get back to the story. The story takes place of Billy, who is from this hive, but Billy is bigger than any of the other bees there. And the queen... Um, bestows upon her that she is going to be the the, uh, the scout for for the hive. So she goes out and scouts, you know, the territory all around for, you know, enemies, for, you know, whatever, flowers, resources. She meets all these other animals there, too. And, um, oh, and also scouts for if they have to swarm and move the hive to another location. And uh, she all these stories and happen between these interactions between her and these other animals, like the coyote, the snake... The, uh, the turtles, and then there's there's a, a, a raccoon in there for a short period, a skunk that's gnarly as hell. And it's um, the story is, it's it has a lot of twists and turns, and it gets pretty gnarly at times. And it's really well written, and it's also educational. She does footnote a lot of stuff in there too, which I really appreciate, and was fun. And again, the artwork is always top notch. It's Mary Fleener, come on. And um, it's on Fantagraphic Books, it's about 130 pages. Color cover, black and white art, as you saw, and hardbound, and well worth it. So go to fanographics.com. They're a great. They're probably the top-notch cartooning or comics company on the planet, and um, if not one of the top ones. And go check them out. Look for Mary Fleener. Look for Billy the Bee. You will not be disappointed. I read it twice. I read it twice. So this one is awesome. So anyway, there you go. That's my little little another cartooning plug. Yeah, Mary and I were kind of chuckling. We were at some bar there last year, and um, I mean, we were talking on the floor too at the at the convention center or the wherever we were. Oh, the library, and uh, but we were at the bar later at the after parties, <laughs> and we were just kind of looking at each other, going, "Boy, how did how did a couple of native Californian surfers end up in in we're in Columbus, Ohio, of all places to meet up? I mean, we just live you know in the same state, but you know, there you go. Life's funny." And I love those places. CXC and SoulCon also was out there. They usually were back to back, so I would go to both. Uh, um, uh, SoulCon was held at the Ohio State University. I have to make sure I say the. 
and uh, Fedi Aldama, Professor uh, Fedi Aldama and John Jennings would hold that. It's the first uh, black and brown uh, comics convention in the country. I'm very pleased and proud to be a part of that. So I would do that and hang out with all those guys. I met a ton of great people at that over the years. And then a lot of us would also be in the CXC. So then we'd all hang out there and I'd see all my other friends and meet new people. And uh, that's, you know, it, it's cartooning, believe it or not, is a tough business. And it's it's a really, it, it's a harder um, uh, discipline, art, art form than you would think. You know, there's a lot involved. It's like this much work for, you know. It's, but it's, it's for the love of it and it's just, you can't stop doing it. And the people I meet in there were all like-minded in a lot of ways. So, you know, we can relate. <laughs> anyway, I'm really rambling here. I'm up to about six minutes of your life. Hopefully this, you know, helped you out today. It helped me out. Mm. Oh, organic French roast, of course, for those playing at home. Um, and by means of helping you out, I'm just talking about, uh, you know, Taking your mind off the shit show that's been going on. 170 of these. I, can't, I cannot believe I'm in 170 of these. I think right now I'm going to go play my Telecaster with a D. Boone sticker, an American made Tele from about, I don't know, 10 years ago. I think it's 10 years old. It might be a little older. Anyway, all right, kids, I'll uh, talk to you next time. Be sure to mask up if you go out. Don't forget to wash and sanitize your hands. Um, keep away from people. In fact, stay indoors and play guitar. I mean, come on, man. You know, I hear a lot of people whining. Oh, I got to get out. I got to get out. You know, what's that? The William Devon song, be thankful for what you got. You know, come on, man. You have a house, an apartment, you got Netflix, you got a refrigerator, you got food, you got, you know, quit crying. If we all stay in, this will be done. Then we can't go back out, but be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe down below. See ya.